Okay, so everything's going good on the course. And we're just buzzing around, you know. Having a good time, bouncing over stuff. And then this is where things start to go not so good. If you'll notice, take a peek at the front drive shaft. And while you're looking at the front drive shaft, watch the front tires. Notice how the front drive shaft is spinning and the tires are not moving. At this point, somebody in the crowd yells, you lost your drive shaft. My first thought was no, 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 no. Not okay, not okay, not good. But then I started thinking if I lost my drive shaft, we would have heard a clunk or a bang or something and I didn't hear anything. So we finished the course, decided to take it home, and on the way home I started thinking, wait a minute, if the front drive shaft was spinning, that means the transfer case is okay and it means the drive shaft is okay. It means there's an issue inside the differential or inside the uh, CAD, the center axle disconnect. Fortunately, I did figure out that it had to be the posi lock cable and it had to be the center axle disconnect. So we get home, park it in the garage, and that brings us to this. Well, there it is. There is the 4x4 posi lock, and if you'll notice, it is not in the Jeep. Everything's okay with the housing. Everything was okay with the plug, despite their wires not being connected for the four-wheel drive light, which is fine. Here's the pin. The pin is what goes through locks into place and hold your fork over that collar and then by pushing and pulling on this you're engaging and disengaging the fork and the collar over the center axle which engages and disengages your four-wheel drive independent of the transfer case so the advantage of these is you can have a two-wheel drive low so you put your transfer case in four low, but you don't engage this, means that your rear tires are in a two low ratio, uh, two wheel drive low range. Fortunately, fortunately, about two months ago, I invested in this. The Rugged Ridge Perm Lock Dana 30. This is a permanent means to engaging the center axle. So this makes your center axle, uh, your front axle always be engaged and then it's dependent upon the transfer case to engage and disengage four wheel drive. So we got home from the Jeep show, we immediately went to work. It was so hot, it was sweaty, I was soaked. I did not record any of it because it was just, uh, it was ungodly hot, it really was. And greasy and dirty, which, you know, that's no big deal. That's part of working on Jeeps and vehicles. Um, so we went ahead and did it. And hopefully I can show you from above maybe. 
if you look down there I don't know, maybe you can't see it that well. Uh, anyway, the posi lock cable's gone. As you can see, no longer in here. And the center axle disconnect is permanently engaged. So your axle shafts are always spinning um, with the center one. So technically what that means is your front drive shaft will spin all the time, which mostly it does anyway because of friction and drag. And when your transfer case is in too high, there's no power going through the front drive shaft. So it's okay, you know, it's just spinning. It's just freewheeling. So we're at the Jeep show and decide we're gonna do the obstacle course again, put it in four low, and we end up with this. Long story short, it works great. Uh, per, you know, the permalock thing is, is gonna be fine. I'm not too concerned about it. It's low maintenance. I just need to make sure that there's fluid in there, uh, the gear oil, and also need to periodically check the, hopefully there's a picture. Um, there's something called wear pads on the shift fork. Mm. All right, so this is your shift fork. And on the end of the fork, there's little hardened plastic wear tabs. And the wear tabs are what sit around this collar as that collar and everything spins inside of this housing. Without getting too into the weeds, it works. And that's all that matters. <laughs> 